Hello, this is the prototype Kenbeck One computer, and it is very similar to the production units. The differences were that the legends were changed on the front panel for better visibility, and the red button was omitted in the production units. On the interior, there is a large printed circuit board. In this particular case, it was called Revision A, the original design. It had a few small errors, which were corrected, and Revision B motherboard appeared in the production uh, units. The instruction set in the prototype here and in the production units were identical, so that they performed this identically, basically. And this unit, the production unit and production units, used small-scale integrated circuits. And they used an MOS shift register for the memory. It was designed before there were microprocessors. So this is not a microprocessor-based computer. And it... Uh, was economically produced and exhibited almost all computer functions uh, to the extent that professionals regarded it as just a smaller version of the larger computers. And amateurs found it very entertaining to, uh, to use. I've heard of programmers who, as they traveled, carried the computer with them so that they could spend their free time programming. <laughs> I never found it that absorbing, but it was fun. <laughs> I thank you. Okay, thank you. So it is the uh, only prototype you ever made and you never have ha made a hand-wired one? Yeah, I, this was the first uh, production unit. I mean, this is the first unit that I built. I, yeah. I didn't breadboard it and and uh, so on, I directly, proceeded directly to make a printed circuit board. Which is remarkable. But... And it worked very well, but there were a few little errors, yeah. but they were correctable. And then on the production board, I would made them standard so they didn't have to do oddball things. The, it used a great variety of just simple integrated circuits such as NAND gates, OR gates, yeah. uh, flip-flops, a few flip-flops. Uh, there was about 130 integrated circuits in it. Uh, two memory chips, each of them was 1,024 bits MOS shift registers. They worked very, very well. They were very reliable. Okay. And this unit was first exhibited in May of 1971 at a convention, and it still seems to work today as well as it did then. Oh yeah, we switched it on yesterday. I, can't, I couldn't believe it. it's still working. Yeah, it probably will continue for some time too. But uh, uh, Hopefully. Yeah, and they do seem to be repairable. I had from time to time to fix yeah. them and so on. So in a later production unit, you added a switch to enable and disable the enter yeah. button. When I dropped the red button, I added a switch which would lock the memory yeah. so that you couldn't change the memory from the front panel. Therefore, people who were not fully acquainted with the computer couldn't destroy a program that was exhibiting or doing something.